Uh, hello everyone, my name is uh, Hao Xiang from uh, Inner Mongolia University and uh, I'm here to present our joint work with uh, Xiangdong, Radu, uh, Xiaofei on real-time single-channel speech enhancement. And so what is a speech enhancement? Speech enhancement is a task to uh, suppress noise and recover clean speech. And in recent years, speech enhancement methods are primarily dominated by deep learning. For deep learning based speech enhancement methods, the goal is to train a neural network on a simulated dataset and predict the enhanced speech. Uh, previous works uh, are mainly talk about uh, full band uh, model, a full band feature mapping. And in the uh, lower left corner, uh, we show the processing mode of the full band model. Uh, for a full band model, input a frame uh, and a historical frame within a certain range and uh, output an uh, enhanced speech frame. Uh, in this paper, we talk about uh, non-full band models. Uh, so what is uh, the uh, non-full band model? On the right side of the screen, we list the three typical non-full band models. And first, we show a mapping model from uh, subband features to subband features. And the input of this model uh, is the time frequency point uh, uh, in a certain frequency range. And the output of the model corresponds to the input, uh, which is uh, also the time frequency, uh, time frequency points within a certain frequency range. In actual scenario, we will use some uh, uh, historical information to improve performance. And after that, we show a mapping model from a subband feature to narrowband features. Uh, uh, the input of this model is a certain frequency and uh, a small number of uh, uh, adjacent frequency contexts. And um, the output uh, is uh, the clean speech correspond to that uh, frequency. And similarly, we use some uh, historical information to improve performance. Also, uh, when performing uh, multi-channel speech enhancement, uh, we will try to use the uh, mapping from uh, uh, narrowband features uh, directly to narrowband features. That is from a single uh, frequency here and two uh, single frequency. And the performance is very good. Uh, so, um, okay. So there are uh, very few, uh, actually there are um, very few deep learning method, uh, methods based on subband or narrowband features. Uh, but for the uh, narrowband or, or sub subband perspective, many details uh, that uh, may be overlooked by the uh, full band model. And now let's talk about the characteristics of the full band model and uh, the sub band model uh, and the uh, non full band model. Um, theoretically, the full band model uh, can obtain all the information on the spectrogram and it can easily obtain the cross uh, band harmonic structure and the long distance frequency dependencies. This is very uh, useful under low SNR. Uh, for example, in the middle um, of the screen, this is a spectrogram of a noise speech, and uh, this is uh, a spectrogram of uh, a clean speech. A noise uh, speech contains uh, some uh, non-stationary uh, non noise, which is mainly concentrated in the low uh, frequency region. And for the full band model, uh, uh, we can easily find that uh, this part uh, of speech should be a silent uh, segment through the high frequency area. And uh, for the um, above mentioned non-full band model, non-full non band model, uh, it's difficult to do this. For subband uh, or narrowband model, uh, since the frequency context uh, um, that can be attained is very limited, and the learning model is very specific, we know that the speech is non-stationary and the most noise uh, are relatively stationary. The change process of uh, SDFT coefficients uh, along the time axis can well reflect uh, the difference in stationarity of a frequency domain signals. As shown in the screen, uh, we take a certain frequency, for example, this frequency, and uh, from the, this uh, spectrogram and uh, draw it into this uh, figure. And um, the upper part, uh, and uh, uh, this is the noise switch uh, and uh, th and uh, this part uh, is the uh, clean speech, and we can find that um, 
uh, there, uh, there, and uh, there, uh, there, here, here, and uh, here, and uh, here, uh, maybe speeches, maybe, maybe speech, because they are uh, non stationary. And, um, uh, and uh, here, here, and uh, here, and uh, here, maybe a uh, noise, uh, because of which are uh, uh, relatively uh, stationary. And along the time uh, direction, the frequency by frequency stationarity discrimination is the uh, cornerstone of the traditional single channel noise power estimation. And, and in, contra uh, in contrast, the full band model can obtain all the information on the spectrogram, but the time related information and the frequency related information are mixed together. And it's difficult to, uh, for, the, for the model to focus on uh, the stationarity of a single frequency along this uh, uh, time axis. Um, in addition, according to earlier experiments, we have also noticed that uh, uh, because the subband or narrowband models feature uh, dimension is relatively low, the model of the same size can learn longer distance time dependent information. This may help uh, the model to enhance the result with better uh, frequency uh, continuity, which may help uh, speech recognition. And also, in the previous work, uh, we simply uh, compared the full band model and the sub band model uh, in this table. And when, uh, when the uh, same, prof, uh, same performance uh, is achieved, uh, is achieved the, the, the amount of uh, uh, parameters uh, and uh, training data and uh, training epochs required by the um, subband model are all less. This may be due to the reduce, uh, reduction of the input feature dimension, reducing the difficulty of uh, modeling. And in addition, since the frequency are split, the dependence between frequencies disappears. When our data set is recorded uh, in a fixed acoustic environment, in, in environment using a subband model or a narrowband model may have a generalization across the data set. And uh, of course, uh, the subband model and the narrowband model cannot always uh, obtain the uh, global information and uh, cannot uh, model the uh, dependence, dependency between the long distance frequencies. Uh, in summary, the full band model can capture global information, but the time information and the uh, frequency information are mixed together and uh, are not targeted. And the subband model or narrowband model can focus on distinguishing the difference, uh, difference between no noise and spatial stationarity, as well as uh, local spectral patterns. It can learn a longer time dependence. Uh, but it has uh, uh, no ability to obtain a global uh, uh, information or a global, um, or global information and uh, cannot model the dependence uh, of uh, long distance frequencies. And so uh, we hope to have a model that has uh, both the advantages of uh, a full band model and the advantages of a non full band model. Um, uh, based on the above, we designed a fusion model called a full subnet. And its structure has been uh, carefully designed first. And a full band model is used to obtain global information. And then the output here uh, of the full band model is uh, uh, supplied with uh, subband model, subband features of noise speech and uh, processed uh, frequency by frequency. And then uh, obtain the discrimination of the uh, dif difference between the stationarity of the speech and uh, the noise, and uh, can focus on local spectral pattern. Um, uh, we evaluate uh, our proposed method on the DNS uh, challenge dataset, uh, deep separation noise challenge, challenge, and the experimental results show that the full band model successful integrates the advantages of uh, full band and uh, sub band techniques. And um, um, we, have we, we have noticed that uh, uh, because the sub band model 
uh, cannot obtain the global information. Its performance is weaker than the full band model. And uh, however, its performance on the uh, reverberation data set uh, is not bad. This, this uh, may be because the subband is more suitable for modeling data with reverberation. Uh, I think uh, this is very important. Uh, and actually, uh, there is basically reverberation in the um, in a real uh, environment. Uh, we will also notice that uh, a full band model has a in, uh, inherited this point well, and compared uh, with the data set that uh, um, not contain reverberation, full sub band has uh, achieved a better improvement on uh, reverberation data set. And uh, in addition, the performance of the full band model is also uh, is, is, a uh, is, is better than the uh, top ranked method, method in the DNS challenge, uh, whether it's uh, a real time track or non uh, real time track. We believe that uh, this future method may be integrated into this uh, um, method to further improve their performance. And also, we list the processing time of the full subnet uh, based on PyTorch. Uh, and finally, we provide the source code, diamond, and uh, model checkpoint, and uh, loss function curve during a training on GitHub uh, for your reference. OK, uh, thanks for your attention.